Hi there traders and investors, today is Tuesday, May 2. I'm online again with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. Signs of the crucial events scheduled for Wednesday. The Federal Reserve is widely expected to raise the funds rate. Judging by market moves, traders are pricing in the hawkish Fed's decision. This is visible in many trading instruments. Now let's discuss my trading ideas on charts. The first instrument to discuss is gold. My trading ideas are based on US dollar strength. We should stay alert to the Fed's policy meeting and the press conference. What is curious about it? The market is, has been pricing in the pending rate hike. Yesterday, traders rushed to open large short positions. Let me remind you that the zone of the buyer's liquidity is clustered around $19.68 per troy ounce. According to the 4-hour chart, the buyers have opened long positions on gold for 4 weeks straight. This level is where the stop losses have been amassed. The sellers entered the market in the North American trade yesterday. We see a sharp drop in bearish engulfing. I won't be surprised to see a steeper price move. The instrument could get stuck for the next 24 hours and slump after the third meeting tomorrow. Who knows? Perhaps traders will rush to open massive sell positions on gold before the event. Such market buzz could enable the breakout of the above said level, which coincides with the 161% Fibonacci level. I suggest a trading idea to go short from the seller's impulse triggered yesterday. We could set gold as a retracement if it happens. We cannot predict a market response to the news for sure. Perhaps, after gold slumps, we will be able to go long, aiming to take profit from the seller's stop losses at 1968 and even lower stop losses at 1947. Once these levels are hit, the instrument will develop a three wave rebound from any of these levels. We should be alert to these points. The price could bounce to $20.75 per troy ounce, the level I'm dreaming about. I reckon gold will spike to this high from any retracement. This is a peak of 2020 and 2022. This year, the gold price could surge to in incredible highs. The USDCAD pair is on track to fulfill my trading plan based on the downward move. I guess both currencies are overvalued. This is a good chance to enter the market with short positions. As for the euro dollar pair, I've already opened short positions. As you can see on the chart, the price retraced to the 50% Fibonacci level and updated its double bottom. Remarkably, it made a technical predictable drop. I remind you that the buyer's liquidity is at around 1.0928. The level is acting as a gravity force for the instrument. We will see this level broken sooner or later. The pound dollar pair produced a three-way pattern from a swing high detected on the four-hour chart. Then, a downward retracement followed from the swing high. Then, the price began a downward move. I also planned short positions on the pound dollar pair. I reckon the price will fall lower than the euro. The cluster of the buy stop orders is lower, 1,300 pips down. Now, let's discuss the dollar-yen. My plan is based on hitting this double top. I see preconditions for the trading idea. The US dollar is going to hold the upper hand around the third meeting. Still, I keep the long-term trading plan based on the yen's strength. There is an impulse and a retracement. Let's wait for the 50% Fibonacci level and go short, betting on the downward target at 126. You may think that I am mad, but I believe in this wide price move. So my trading idea will be implemented sooner or later. Importantly, we should manage our risk. That's all I wanted to tell you. See you later. Good luck.